Good evening and thanks for tuning in for KRHD News at 6. I'm Naya Gonzalez. A new bill on homelessness is ready for the Texas governor's desk tonight. HB 1925 puts a statewide ban on encampments for homeless Texans with fines up to $500. Tonight, our Rebecca Fiedler finds out what that means for the Brazos Valley. Texas House Bill 1925 has now passed in the House and Senate. The bill would make it illegal for homeless individuals to camp in public places. The bill proposes that camping on public property be considered a Class C misdemeanor, an offense punishable by a fine of up to $500. Though the Brazos Valley isn't home to a sizable visible tent encampment, as can be seen in larger metropolitan areas, Twin City spokesperson Ron Crozier says that homeless families who live outdoors do exist in Aggieland. There, there are a, a, just a handful of encampments in the local area. And, and we're aware of them, uh, local law enforcement is aware of them, Health and Human Services are aware of them, and we're just making sure that those individuals' needs are being met to the extent that they will allow us to reach out and help them. Twin City staff interact with community members who struggle with homelessness on a daily basis. They say the people who may be most affected by legislation like this are not those who choose to live a simplistic outdoor lifestyle, but rather those who face social and economic barriers to financial independence. There's many barriers. There could be a mental health issue. There could be an addiction issue. Um, also, there could be um, issues with them getting credentials such as ID, social security cards. Twin City Mission works already with local law enforcement and fellow area nonprofits to assist homeless men and women in the area. Crozier and Tamara Duran say they hope local police will continue the practice that's already been in place to help relocate and assist homeless individuals before opting to take them into custody. I think our local powers to be are going to employ some common sense when it comes to dealing with these individuals and families, uh, finding what's best for them, not just for tonight, but for a series of tomorrow nights so that they're not continuously or chronically out on the streets and, and wearing that homeless monocle. Amendments to the bill will now be considered by the House of Representatives before the bill is presented to Governor Greg Abbott, who will then have 10 days to sign the bill into law. In Brazos County, Rebecca Fiedler, KRHD News. Taking a closer look now at House Bill 1925, the Texas Senate passed the bill 27 to 4, and it's back to the Texas House for final approval. The bill would make camping in an unapproved public space a Class C misdemeanor, punishable with a fine up to $500. Police would also be required to redirect the homeless to a local shelter or nonprofit before or at the time of the ticket. And right now, the Department of Housing and Urban Development says nearly 568,000 Americans were reported as homeless two years ago, with more than 25,000 Texans among them. The Texas Comptroller says homelessness and housing affordability go hand in hand, with skyrocketing prices in the real estate market making it harder to find cheaper rent. The state says the pandemic has made things even harder for Texans, especially after February's Arctic blast. 